Maxwell House Coffee presents Mama, starring Peggy Wood. I remember this album on our parlor table at home. I remember the old pictures from Norway that Mama and Papa brought with them when they came to this country. The uncles and the aunts and the cousins I had there. And I remember my family. I remember my sister Dagmar. And my brother Nell. And of course, Papa. But most of all, when I look through this album, most of all, I remember Mama. Yes, here's Mama. Brought to you by Maxwell House Coffee, the richer, mellower blend. Already a favorite in Mama's time, today more people buy and enjoy Maxwell House than any other brand at any price. Today, as always, this sign of good coffee means Maxwell House. The coffee that's always good to the last drop. Well, we see if you are boiling over yet. Oh, it's nothing to joke about, Mama. I feel awful. Always when you have a spelling test, you feel awful. But this has nothing to do with the test, Mama. Yeah. Just don't feel well. Well, you have no fever. Oh, Mama, that can't reach far down enough to show how bad I feel. Oh, stomach ache. Awful. Eh, we will have to try castor oil. Oh, no. That is the best for stomach ache. Well, this isn't a regular kind of a stomach ache, Mama. Uh. It kind of moves all around. Oh. One minute it's a stomach ache, and then it's a headache. And, and then it is a spelling test. Honest, Mama, I feel sick. I will call Dr. Johnson then. Oh, no, Mama. Oh, well, if you feel sick. But, but he's so expensive. Yeah. Besides, I don't think he's a very good doctor anymore. <laughs> you were just saying that because Dr. Johnson is on to you. Remember what he said last week? There is nothing wrong with this child that the burning down of the school would not cure. Remember? Remember? <laughs> Stop it, Mama. No, you were very sick. Oh, well, yeah. I am. <coughs> well, you will feel better when the test is over. Well, do I have to go to school, Mama? Yeah. Well, don't blame me if something terrible happens to me. Oh, stop it, Dagmar. What has got into you lately? <laughs> Every time you do not feel like doing something, you make a long face and you say you are sick. Well, I am. You are not. Now run along to school. You'll be late. Fly! Oh, Dagmar, Tommy Jordan was looking all over for you. For me? His father bought him a whole box of all-day suckers and he wanted to give you one. Oh, boy, where'd he go? School, I guess. He was just out front. Hey, Tommy, wait for me! <laughs> She's very sick. Has she been starting that again? Mm -hmm. Spelling test. Did you forget something? Oh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to Grace's after school this afternoon, Mama. That is, if you don't mind. Well, what about your practicing? Oh, well, I can do that tonight. You have your homework tonight? Oh, Mama, what difference does it make if I miss practice once in a while? Once in a while. Yesterday and the day before, and ten minutes the day before that. That is not what Papa pays for Mrs. Kleiner. I hate music lessons. Well, you were the one that wanted to take them. But Mrs. Kleiner makes everything so hard. <laughs> Everybody wants something for nothing in this house. Oh, Mama, please let me go to Grace this afternoon. You have to practice, Patrick. Now I know why they say all musicians have a secret sorrow. They were made to practice when they were young. Oh, oh Papa's going to fix that, Mama. He was going to fix it two weeks ago, and it is still stuck. You know what we were going to do this afternoon at Grace's <sighs> Mama? Wood burning. I wonder what to have for supper. Oh, anything, Mama. It doesn't matter. Grace got a wood burning set for Christmas. It's such fun. Why do I always have to make you do everything, Catherine? You have to practice. I know it. I know it. And... Do you not think it would be a good idea to go to school? Look at the time. Golly, Mom, I'm going to be late. Why no. didn't you tell me? Uh. Yeah, I met Mr. Lash outside and he gave me those. Yeah. I thought I'd play a little yoke on you. Then if he closed the door. Now, who are they from? Oh, Bills. Oh, mm. 
Well, I thought maybe, Martha, that we could go to market together. No, no, I have not made my bed yet. Oh, Martha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what Mrs. Jansrud told me? No. Someday Mrs. Lindquist does not make her beds until three o'clock. Oh, I could not live like that. Oh, but make me feel like a pig. Well, make yourself at home, Yanni. I'll be with you in a yiffy. Well, where are you going? My beds. Oh, well, I will help you. Oh, no, I can make my own beds. Oh, no, no. Four hands is better than two. I will help you. <laughs> in that way. It will go quicker. <laughs> Well, since when have the beds been in the kitchen? Oh, well, I will bet was right away. <laughs> I forgot I left the coffee on the stove. Oh, well, I'm glad I have got no boys. They are worse than pigs. All day long I am asking Elsa to pick up his room and look. Yes. Anyway, you don't leave it until three o'clock. Uh, some days I would like to. Oh, you, Martha. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I get so sick of, of bed sheets and dirty clothes. I wish we were Eskimos. I did not need to use such things. Here, put you it can up. Thank your lucky stars that you are not Mrs. Edlund. Why? <laughs> because now she has one more bed to make than she used to. But you mean? Then, on their 20th anniversary, Mr. Edlund gave her those newfangled twin beds. You know, with the spaces. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, Mrs. Johnson told me so. <laughs> Jenny, what are you going to have for supper? Oh, Martha, I have not made up my mind. You too, huh? Well, I was thinking of having pig's knuckles and sauerkraut, but I'm not sure yet. Well, that would not be right for the children. Well, everything is so expensive. Yeah. Round steak is 14 cents a pound. Well, I would not pay that. But I have to think of something every day, every day. Mother, where does this sweater go? Or, uh, uh, oh. Did I wonder what Nelsie has in his pockets? <laughs> if I knew what boys carried around in their pockets, I would know more than Mr. Edison. Uh, oh, Martha. What? Martha. Look. Cigarettes. Phil, aren't you going to say something? What can I say? Well, if I had the boy as young as Nails, and he was going around smoking, I would have something to say. I would put him over my knee and I would spank him, I would. Nails is 16 years old. Well, then let Lars spank him. Mm. 16 is too young to smoke. I know. I wish he would not. Well, then why do you let him? Why do I have to make everybody do everything? Jenny? Well, Martha, you cannot let him go around smoking. You will stunt his growth. And maybe give him the long trouble. Well, all right, Martha, now come along. Let's go to the store. Oh, why do we always have to eat every day? I tell you something, Henny. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I was an old man. Oh, Martha. Yeah, <laughs> I do. What does a family mean? Work. And who appreciates it? Nobody. Oh. This is just my bad day. Come on. So my man said to me, where did you ever hear a story like that? And what did you say? I say, from Jenny Oberg, I say. And what did he say? Jenny Oberg. Huh. Why do you pay any attention to it then? You know what a gossip and loudmouth Jenny Oberg is. About Jenny Arborg, he said. <laughs> gossip and loudmouth, he said. I love it. <laughs> I've never seen it to fail, talk of somebody, and here they are. Jenny Ober. And her sister, Mrs. Hudson. Oh, mm. hello, Mrs. Ober. Oh, oh, we were just thinking of you. Mrs. Hudson. Mrs. Rice. I was going to call you both later this morning. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, my man goes to lunch this evening. I was going to have a few of the girls in. Oh, that would be nice. We would play rummy. Can you all come? Oh, yeah, that would be fine. I would love to, Mrs. Lindquist. Well, how about you, Mrs. Hanson? Well, I am not much of a hand for cars. Oh, what is the difference? We play for fun only. Well, it is nice of you to ask me, but I have too much to do at home. Oh, now, Martha, what have you got to do? Well, I have the sewing, and uh, I have to get nails at his geometry, and then there is the... Um, drawer in the kitchen that must be fixed. Oh, will at last fix that. Are you crazy? Well, 
He will not start it unless I am there to push him on. Oh, he's just like my man. Mm -hmm. Mine too. Mm -hmm. These tomatoes are not very fresh. Well, if you had been squeezed and pinched and dropped as much as that tomato is, you wouldn't be very fresh either. Oh. How much are they? Fifteen cents a quart. Oh, that is highway robbery. Oh, I wish you would come, Mrs. Hanson. Oh, Martha, let your family look out for themselves for this one. They don't appreciate what we do for them anyway, do they, girls? They certainly do not. <laughs> then only this morning, Martha, you said you wished you were an old maid. Oh, 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 oh yes, 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 you do. Oh, we wish you would come, Mrs. Hanson. Well, I would like to, but the sewing just must be done. Oh, she is hopeless. All she wants to be is used to hire a girl for her family. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, we would want you, you remember. I will, thank you. Oh, everything is so dear. I wish I knew what to get for supper. We are having that trouble too. <laughs> There's a heck with it. I'm going to have the sauerkraut. Mm. I think maybe stew. My man likes that. Yeah, we had stew two nights ago. But did you see the chops today? We had chops last night. You like fish? I do not know what I want. Oh, my sister-in-law in Minnesota sent me the most wonderful recipe for meatloaf. Now, meatloaf would be nice. Oh, but this is wonderful. Yes. My man had four helpings. Yeah. And it takes five hours to make. But why is it so hard? Because everything must be just so. But oh. that is what makes it so good. Then maybe you would be so kind as to give me this recipe, Mrs. Lindquist. You are going yeah. to spend five hours making supper for your family? Uh. Now I know she's crazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll always remember how... <clears throat> Hard I practiced that afternoon. So this is the way you practice? Oh, um, well, this magazine just happened to be on the piano, Mama. So? Oh, well, well I, I can do these even when I do read, Mama, listen. away, Catherine. You know what Mrs. Kleiner said last time. You are not working hard enough. Oh, she wants me to practice all the time. You have been practicing exactly five minutes. Oh, it must be more than that, Mama. Go look. Now you sit down. <laughs> and you practice. I bet you feel better now, huh? Oh, yes, Mama. <laughs> and now I'm going over to Sarah Ann. We're going to play star. Oh, which reminds me. I need a bunch of parsley. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're going to play dry goods store. Oh, but before you open your store, will you run down to Mr. Bull's and get him to give you a nice bunch of parsley? But Sarah Ann's expecting me right away, Mama. We need the parsley for supper. Well, couldn't Captain get it? Captain is practicing. What about Nels? Nels is not home yet. Couldn't they deliver it? A bunch of parsley. How do you expect me to ask him to deliver a penny bunch of parsley? Oh, do not be such a lazy bones. Go down to the store and do not lose the penny. Gosh. Now what is the matter? Mama, I've kind of got my stomach ache again. If you do not go to the store this very minute, Dagmar Hansen, I will give you an ache someplace else. Ah! Oh, that did not hurt you. Again, but don't worry, Mama. I'm adding it on the other end. Oh, hello, Martha. Oh, hello, Yenny. Oh, my feet are killing me today. Oh, have you been shopping? Well, no, I was just looking. I didn't buy anything. <laughs> Mrs. Lindquist's sister? I've been working since one o'clock. Well, foolishness. No. 